Hello, how is everyone? Hope you're all okay. My name's Re. This is a video, a short video, about a little mini haul at Poundland. Now, I've not shopped at Poundland before, so, but it's a bit of a walk through. You can walk from the front to the back in the small town where I live. So I go through past the clothes quite a lot. Um, and I saw, well, a cardigan caught my eye and I bought it with a couple of t-shirts. So hope you like the video. Um, just before I start, my name's Re, Rianne. I live in a small town on the borders with Wales and England. Um, I've recently, re recently retired from a long career in teaching and I've started YouTube um, to get me out of my comfort zone to sort of try something new um, to keep learning I guess and also it'd be really nice to create a community of like-minded people and thank you very much I have to say thank you for the comments that you're making it really does help it helps me interact with you um, create a bit of rapport um, it's nice to know your thoughts one of the things I need to sort my bra out. I realise, you know, wearing these white t-shirts, hence I've got a jacket on today, um, that, you know, some of the t-shirts are quite see-through. I haven't got the, I'm not wearing the best bra underneath colour-wise. And also, I probably need a little bit more support. So thank you for being so kind. Anyway, welcome to my current subscribers or anyone else who regularly watches um, and welcome to anyone new. I hope you like this short video. So this was the cardigan that caught my eye, a long sleeved cardigan. So it's the lay on the label, it's Beloved and it's the Pepco range, Pepco Women at Poundland. It was a bargain at £9. I haven't tried it on yet. Um, I'm normally a UK size medium, but I picked a large. That's because I'd rather have a cardigan oversized. And also, you know, I've never tried their range before. I don't know what it's going to be like. And just by sight, it looks about the right size for me. So I'll try it on in a moment. It's made of a mixture of viscose and polyester. Um, it's really soft. It's got really nice stripes. It's black, black and cream, which is really nice to go with all sorts of things. Um, V-neck, little cream buttons. Don't know if you can see those ribbing on the sleeves and ribbing on the bottom it just feels incredible it feels really soft and it's a really nice color so try that one in a moment so while i was there i started looking at their t-shirts and i got a couple um this sort of white one v-neck it's got a label on it super soft and it is super soft. I got an extra large, I, th I think because I didn't want to get a medium because it looked a little bit small and they didn't have a large. So I thought better to go too big. Looking at it now, I'm not sure why I did that. Don't know what I was thinking, but it was three pounds um, and it is super soft. So it could even be used as nightwear. If it is too big, I can just use it as a little night top over my shorts i can take them back they've got a good returns policy because they've got no changing room there so as long as i can find my receipt i think i put it up safely <laughs> hope i did um you can take them back but you know you can't go wrong for that sort of price three pounds it's worth trying and the other one is a t-shirt a green t-shirt just really like the color um, and this one was just two pounds. So two pounds and I got a large in that one, which looks about the right size for me. I'm only five foot, I'm sure. So I do have the trouble of 
t-shirts in general being really long for me um but we'll see we'll see how we get on it's just a beautiful color it's soft not as soft as the white one um again the beloved range at pepco at poundland so i have it on i've just put it on over the clothes that i'm already wearing so this is a white t-shirt that i've had for quite a while um m s jeans and white sketches um I think it's lovely. I think it's the right size. So I've I folded the sleeves up. I'm sure. So I always have to fold the sleeves up. That's the norm for me. Um, and that feels good. They look nice. Yeah, the joys of being short. I've got the large, and I think that's that's the right size for me. Looks pretty good. I'll move back in a second so you can see. Yeah, there's plenty of room that I can do it up. Not that I ever do cardigans up, but it's nice to know that you can. Let's move back. It's a nice cardigan. I think it'd be very versatile and it's nice, you know, nice neutral colours. I think it looks nice for the outfit that I've got on, just sort of a nice casual. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I think that's really good value for £9. I did notice, I looked at the label as I was putting it on, and it is hand wash. Now, it's very unlikely I'll hand wash it. I'll put it in the hand wash section of the washing machine. That's just me, nothing to do with Poundland. They'll probably be shaking in there, you know. Oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't say that. Um, I know you should always follow the washing instructions, but I've not, in our washing machine, we've got a, a really good hand wash. Um, wash it at low temperature and it will be fine because I know I'm just... I'm not going to wear it if I've got to hand wash it all the time, but that's good. I like it. I think that's a keeper. So I've got the green one on. So this is size large from Poundland, as I said, Petco range, um, and it was two pounds. Now I'm a British size twelve, medium, and. I wouldn't have got any smaller than this. If I'd had the medium, it would be too tight. It's pushing it a little bit. I think I can get away with it. Um, it looks quite good. Now, because I'm short, because I'm five foot, this is the problem that I normally have. It's like a tunic on me. So what I would normally do is either ruch it up a little bit, which doesn't look so good on camera or tuck it just tuck it under on itself I think I'd need a mirror to do that but you get the idea and then that's a better length on me I really like it and I think it's a keeper. I think for two pounds you can't go wrong. It's really soft. Um, I'm not sure what it looks like on camera. You know, I'm not sure if I've got the angles right, but in real life when I looked in the mirror, I thought, okay, that, that looks pretty good, but I'll, I'll check again when I see the film back. But it's a lovely color. It's really soft. Um, yes, it's too long for me, which is the norm. Uh, Need to try some of those t -shirt, really short ones on in Primark. Maybe they'll be the right size for me. I think I need to do that. But I like the colour. I just think it can go with all sorts of things. I'll put it on with my jacket and see, you know, what you think. 
trusty jacket and shades. Right, I've had this jacket for a long time. I've got it from a little independent shop in Shrewsbury, I think it was. Um, I used to wear it when I was working. I wear it casually over jeans and it's just, you know, it's one of those ones that you can screw up in a bag and it's still, and it washes beautifully. It comes out beautifully. It's got a bit of stretch in it. Um, and it's a, it's a good length for me. But anyway, I think my t-shirt looks nice with that. What do you think? Now, potentially, I might need, is it too tight? Would I need a bigger size? But if I got the extra large, it might be a bit too much. I think I do really just need to sort my bras out so that I've got a little bit, you know, maybe skin tone as someone suggested um, and sort the straps out, make sure I'm wearing the right size or maybe get a different style. But the t-shirt's good, I think. It's a good one. White one now. I'm a little bit worried about trying the white one on. So here's the white one. This is, um, this was three pounds, this one, and it's extra large. But you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed that it fits so well. I'm extra large when I think of myself as a medium. Um, but I think it's pretty good and it is really, really soft. Like there's a lot of it. Again, if I pulled it down, it's all the way down there. Now that might suit some people and of course if you're taller you know that's great but I don't think that that does anything for me so I would wear it scrunched up or can't do that without a mirror or tucked under a bit like that now again I've got the problem with my bra you can see it um, it's quite see-through but I still, oh, I can take this off now. It's just a super soft sticker because I'm going to keep it. I just think it's a really nice little soft t-shirt. It'd be very versatile, it'd be good on holiday. You could throw it over your swimsuit. There's enough room and space in it. Or just wear it with a pair of shorts if you wanted a little bit more protection on your shoulders. I do need to sort my bras out. Um, I might have a skin tone colour bra upstairs. I'll go and see if that makes a difference. But I still think it's a keeper. I think for that amount of money, you can't go wrong. And it is super duper soft. But this is an extra large. Oh my gosh. I think that is absolutely loads better. So this is a Marks and Spencer's flesh coloured bra. I'll show I'll show you afterwards. It's just a t-shirt bra. So yeah, that makes this t-shirt look loads better. Well, it adds a bit of colour, but I would probably go for the white t-shirt with this cardi. So that little haul from Poundland cost under £15. I think it was £9 for the car day, £3 for the white t-shirt and £2 for the other one. I think I've got that the right, right way around. Um, so I you know, that's a bargain and they'll definitely add to my wardrobe. Um, the bra I've got is this one. I sort of picked it up in the week. It's just from Marks and Spencer's full cut t-shirt bra. And oh, what a difference that made, didn't it, under the white t-shirt. So I do feel another video coming on there. This bar was just uh, £16. 
show you the label there. Be back to front, I know. But if you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me trying some clothes. You know, you might have the same body shape as me. Maybe you're short or, you know, we all come in different shapes and sizes. And it's nice to see things on different people. So thanks again for watching. I'd be really grateful if you wrote a comment. It's nice to interact with you. It would be really lovely if you could like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything at all, but it makes a big difference to me as a small YouTuber. Thank you very much. See you again soon.